Pulsing is a great tool to increase travel speed while reducing heat input and distortion on steel, stainless steel, and various heat-sensitive alloys. Providing additional arc stability at low amperage, it can help prevent arc wander on thin materials so welds can be placed and sized more accurately. To activate the pulser on the Dynasty welders, first select your welding process. For example, we'll be setting it up with DC TIG. Next, using the middle blue soft key, select Pulse. Use the control knob to then select Pulser on off and turn it to on. The most prominent parameter is going to be pulses per second, which is sometimes referred to as pulse frequency. On the left side of the display, the ProSet bar graph is shown, which represents the factory suggested setting for that parameter, which is shown by the green arrow. The blue area shows the range that is commonly used for that parameter. As adjustments are made to the pulses per second, the visual graphics also change to show representation of the expected weld puddle. To return back to the ProSet setting, use the center blue soft key labeled ProSet. Typically, the PPS will be set at 100 or above for optimal performance and using a higher selection for thinner materials while a lower selection for thicker materials. Once the pulses per second is set, press the control knob to return back to the pulser selection settings. More advanced parameters include percent peak on time and percent background amperage, which can be adjusted for more minute puddle fluidity characteristics. Pulse wave shape is a new feature that allows for selecting between three wave shapes, square being the fastest transitions, sine being the most fluid and reduced audible noise, and triangular being linear transitions and further reduced heat input. After selecting your appropriate pulse parameters, you'll need to adjust the amperage on the home screen appropriate for your application. The utilization of pulsing will improve productivity, weld quality, and reduce heat input. For more information on the Miller Dynasty, visit millerwelds.com dynasty.